hard-earned money down the drain. A Bradenton woman forked over $5,200 for a new shed and a front porch. She says the contractor, working for Ace Aluminum and Construction in Zephyr Hills, took her money back in February, but he never showed up to start the work and then stopped returning the phone calls. That's when she knew she had better call Benkin. And investigator Shannon Benkin is here now with her story. This porch was really special to this woman. She wants it so her husband, suffering from dementia, can watch the world and stimulate his mind. And when I heard that, I knew I had to make this right. There will be an access door. Shirley here. Babick really wants a storage shed and a front porch. My husband can come out with his walker and sit outside. And I'm sure that would be peaceful for him. It really would. Instead, she's stuck with belongings piled high. Downsized to here, and it's been nothing but a nightmare. She blames contractor Randy Daniels of Zephyr Hills as Ace Aluminum and Construction. <sighs> Used and abused. <laughs> Shirley paid Randy $2,600 in cash and a check for $2,600. Then he disappeared. So if you lose that money and you have to come up with money again to finish your project, what's that mean for you? I don't know that we'll be able to do it. Driving to Zephyr Hills to find Randy was not an option, so Shirley turned to me to take the drive. The business was easy to find, but closed. No one answered the phone, and then I found Randy's business partner. You Mr. Schaefer? I could be. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, my trouble. No. Turns out Richard Schaefer brought Randy into his company three years ago. Recently, something went wrong. He's in jail for fraud, <laughs> okay? okay. Uh, he wrote, he took checks and... Jail? Well, here's a reason why he's not at Shirley's house. Randy was arrested two weeks ago. Forgery. I just paid a person back today that he had took money from, and, uh, and they wrote the check out to him, too. I mean, Schaefer tells me Randy told him of some of Shirley's phone. concerns. He, he goes, yeah, I just talked to Ms. Babbing and got her to not call eight on your side or something. He claims he knew nothing about the money. I was not aware of that. I had no clue that he had taken $5,200. You and didn't you, know that until I just no, told you? No, Schaefer that's... vows to finish Shirley's job, even though he didn't get paid. I'm, ultimately, I'm the one that has to take responsibility because it's my license. It's worth noting that Ace Aluminum does have an A rating with the Better Business Bureau, and Schaefer tells me this is the first time the business has had any kind of trouble, and he will work hard to rebound this business without his business partner. Hey, what a little plot twist you gave me there. Uh -huh. We're moving along, and boom, <laughs> Randy's in jail. Yep. I, I mean, that's kind of frightening, but it sounds like this other guy wants to make it right. How much money was this whole job and did she pay too much up front she think? definitely paid too much up front the whole job is seven thousand eight hundred dollars and she's already paid fifty two hundred dollars and if you remember half of that was in cash you should never ever mm. ever pay anything in cash and the other was a check i asked for a copy of that guess who it was written out to randy, randy. Oh, yeah randy. another no no don't do that either so that was all part of according to schaefer randy's plan to keep this from him but you know you can't blame the woman all to, all, all together because I mean, she got references I mean, she, she did. did. She had a reference a from her realtor. This business had already done work in the neighborhood. Like I said, it has an A rating. All right. Well, mm -hmm. thank you, Shannon. More yeah. to come on this one. Yeah. If you have a problem that needs solving, you better call Benkin. The telephone number 1-855-BENKIN.